Good day everyone! Welcome to another session of Mommy Teo Teaches Math. This time, we will be talking about representing real-life situations involving logarithmic functions. But before that, of course, we will be defining first a logarithmic function and of course, illustrate the loss of logarithms. Okay? So let's do it. We know that exponential function is the inverse of logarithmic function and vice versa. So, we have the exponential function f of x is equal to b raised to x. Remember that b should not be equal to 0 and should be greater than 1 or less than 1 but greater than 0. So, to find its inverse, we interchange x and y. That will be x is equal to b raised to y. How are we going to solve for y? That is the time that logarithm comes in. So therefore, this one is log of, you get this one, x, b is equal to 1. Again, the equivalent of this is log of x to the base b is equal to y. This one is the inverse of this of this f of x is equal to b raised to x again this is log of x to the same base b is equal to the exponent y so this one is the equivalent of this okay so let's try to translate this into logarithms that will be 10 raised to x is equal to 5. That will be log of 5 is equal to x. Notice that I did not put the base 10 there. Why? Because if you saw a logarithm like this, it is understood that the base is 10. And we call that as common logarithm. Okay? So the 10 here is imaginary. Now, what about number 2? In number 2, that will be log of, instead of log, I will be writing ln. Why? Because our base is E. So that will be ln of 4 is equal to x. If you saw ln, this one is a natural logarithm. Again, the base here is E. No need to write E. It is understood already that once you saw ln, the base is E. Okay? So that is ln of 4 is equal to x. Number 3. This one is log of 625 to the base 5 equals 4. Log of the answer to the same base 5 is equal to 4. Number 4. Log of... One third to the base three is equal to negative one. That's how you translate exponential form into logarithmic form. Now there are three laws of logarithms that are to be considered. The first one is what we call the logarithm of a product. Suppose you have log of two x to the base of two. This one can be written as, using the first law of logarithm, this is log of 2 to the base 2 plus log of, log of x to the base 2. That's it. So meaning, if it is a product, you get the factors and add them. Okay? Number 2. The second one is log of a quotient. Suppose you have log of, let's say, 16 over x there's no base here meaning the base is 10 this is a common logarithm this is log of 16 minus log of x that's the application of number two law the third law of logarithm is power so how do we do that suppose you have log of 3 raised to x to the base 2 this one is equivalent to x multiplied by log of 3 to the base 2. 
Those are the rules or the laws. Let us go now to representing real life situation involving logarithmic function. Example number one. On October 15, 2013, a strong earthquake with a magnitude of 7.2 in the Richter scale destroyed one of the famous tourist spots in our country, the Chocolate Hills. Represent the energy released by this magnitude. The magnitude is given by this formula, m is equal to 2 thirds log of e divided by e sub 0. And e sub 0 is equal to 10 raised to 4.4 joules. By the way, this e here is the energy released by the earthquake. And this e sub o here is the energy released by a certain reference point. And that is equivalent to 10 raised to 4.4 joules. Let's do it. M is given, that will be 7.2 is equal to 2 third log of E divided by E sub 0. Take note that we will just be representing the energy released by this magnitude. We will not solve, we will just be representing it. So we will multiply first both by 3 to remove this one. So 3 times 7.2. 7.2 times 3, that will be 6, 21, 1. That will be 21.6. 2 log of E over E sub 0 is given. And that is 10 raised to 4.4 joules. Next, you divide everything by 2 first. That will be cancelled. So that will be 21.6 divided by 2 is equivalent to what is this this is equivalent to 10.8 okay is equal to log of e over 10 raised to 4.4 okay now how are we going to solve this e here remember that one of the laws of logarithm states that if you have a quotient, you can get the difference of the two. Since they have both what? An imaginary base of 10. That will be log of E minus log of 10 raised to 4.4. Okay? So now, there is a law in logarithm that if you have log of... 5 raised to 4 to the base of 5, this one is equal to, this one is equal to 4. Another, if you have log of 6 raised to 5 to the base 6 is equal to 5. So applying that law, that will be log of 10 raised to 4.4 is equal to 4.4 Solving for this This will be equal to Transposing this This is 10.8 Plus 4.4 Is equal to log of E So what is this? This one is 12 Carry 1 That will be 15.2 is equal to log of e. So now, how are we going to solve for e then? Remember that the base of this is 10. And we will just be representing e. So this one is imaginary 10. Change it to exponential. That will be 10 raised to 15.2 is equal to e. So this one is the value. Of course, this one should be in joule. So 10 raised to 15.2 joules. So this is the value of e. This is how you will represent e. Another application of logarithm is measuring the intensity or loudness of a sound. Let's take example number two. A cat's purr is about 316 times as intense as the reference sound. 
represent the decibel rating. The decibel rating is TS. And this one is the unit, dB, which means decibel. This is 10 log of I, stands for the intensity of the sound. And this one is the intensity of the sound from a reference sound. Okay? So how are we going to represent it in decibel? So this one is 10 log of I over I sub 0. So S is equal to 10 log of, it says here, 316 times as intense as the reference sound. So reference sound is I sub 0. So 316 I sub 0 over I sub 0. Okay? So S now is equal to 10 log of 316. Of course, this one is in decibel. That's it.